Um, okay, so the quantified value proposition then is, is quite related to this because if you think about the flyer and what you're trying to show the user or the customer in terms of benefits, you want to try if possible to come up with a metric in terms of, well, um, how much better is it, okay? So rather than saying it's better than everybody else's, how much better is it? And how do you um, essentially just quantify that for the person? And, and what we do is we try and do it in the top two priorities for, for, that, for that persona. So, um, you know, if you remember back to uh, the persona for Chuck at the very beginning, we reliability was, was the, the top priority. So how do you say that your solution is going to produce a more reliable um, offering than, than what Chuck has already? And by how much is it going to be uh, more reliable? So, you know, this is a, again a nice uh, illustration of, of, of discipline entrepreneurship and linking the various steps together because they all kind of follow on from each other. You've got persona here, which is linking to the quantified value proposition. And actually the quantified value proposition then is also linked to the, let's say the core of the, of the company, what they have that nobody else has. And then you have to think about, well, how do I put in place the resourcing plan in terms of staff and, and resources to fulfill that core, which in turn power is my value proposition, which in turn aligns to the priorities of, of, of the persona. So you can see here in this picture that we've got the persona, we've got, two, we've got multiple priorities. But we want to take the top two, we want to take A and B, and we want to show how we, our, our solution will move from the as-is state to the possible state, and ideally in terms of a delta, which is the change from X to bring us to Y. So before we have X, and say, well, actually, we can improve X by delta, and that'll bring us to Y. So we're, we're basically measuring um, something in, in the dimension of priority number one, and then we can actually do the same thing for priority number two. So if it's, um, like in the previous example there, the priorities were um, time and effort and, and uh, money, okay? So how much money will you save? How much time will you save, okay? So we'd be showing them the delta in terms of time and the delta in terms of money in this case. So this is a, an example from, this is actually from Bill Aulish. One of his companies was called Sensible, who was, a, who was a, basically a joystick um, that was pressure sensitive and applying pressure to the joystick allows you to mold or deform a shape on the computer screen. So there are many applications from animation to simulating um, you know, medical surgery to the one that they eventually focused on, which was um, industrial this picture here is showing you the uh, before and after case. So we've got before without Sensible, and on the bottom part of here, we've got after with Sensible, okay? So you can see a timing picture here in terms of the number of weeks that something took in terms of developing an industrial design for some kind of product. If you think about it, they're already saving half the time, even with the lower numbers. So from 16 weeks to eight weeks here, they're already gaining by 50% uh, time reduction overall. So, you know, you're, 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 you're beating the competition easily anyway, so you don't have to uh, maybe overdo it in terms of, of, uh, of, of the cell there. So that's the, the proposition for, um, for Sensible. Now sometimes it might not be possible to do a uh, quantified value proposition. You may have to have a more of a qualitative one. And um, when I was talking to my, uh, my friend here from the arts domain beforehand, I was explaining this to him that you know, maybe in the artistic and the creative uh, space, you might be looking more of a qualitative one. It's kind of hard to measure experience in terms of a cultural or an artistic event. So like, let's say it's theater, but you can still say that it's better than some alternative. So this is a, a proposition for a product, which is essentially a, a monitor for, for, um, for babies before they're born. And through some kind of signal processing and data collection and interpretation, it's showing you a, a uh, you know, smiley faces and hearts here on this product which gives you an indication of how your baby is feeling. So again, it's, it's hard to quantify this in terms of 50% you know, better, 100% better, 27% better, but you have a positive proposition that says, well, actually, you know, if you compare it to whatever else is out there in terms of intuition or ultrasounds or heart rate monitors, which are quite limited, this is a much better solution. Okay, so it's, uh, it's not metric, but it's still saying it's better and it's, it's aligning to the priorities of, of the first time mothers. And here is a, uh, another example, which is um, smart skincare. Okay, so again, this is a quite clear in terms of the, the quantified value proposition. So we have some sun cream, um, 
where the alternative, which you can see for existing sun cream, is basically gone for a triage at each event after the first swim. And this extreme sun cream is effective for the whole event. And then for, um, for marathon runners, which is another segment, again, the sun cream is reducing in effectiveness, but with the extreme sun cream, it's effective after the whole event. So you're, again, you're showing the before and after. And if you think about it, the priorities of, of the extreme sports person, they, um, time is a big thing. So they don't want to be wasting time applying sun cream again after they've gone for a swim or applying somewhere in the middle of their marathon run, okay? They want to be able to just keep on going. And this is the proposition here that has longer duration, higher effectiveness, and then you have to apply less. So any questions so far? So again, there's, um, there's a, you know, a, a kind of worksheet where you can use to, to fill this out in terms of, of um, of the as the state and the possible state, and again, aligning to the priority of, of the persona, and again, how much, what, what is the benefits, and you can, if you want to then explain the reasons for those benefits in terms of how it's achieved. So you're trying to show this overall, um, uh, overall savings.